She's just about the same age that Nash was when social services took him from us. We're not bad people. It's just that we were, we were so young. We were living out of the back of a van and trying to raise a baby, trying to find jobs. It wasn't fair to him. Then they found this wonderful foster family who just fell in love with him. And then by the time we were on our feet, he thought of them as his real family. It broke my heart. At least he had a warm bed and food on the table. Uh, would you uh, like to feed her? You'd have to warm up the bottle. <laughs> well, I think I can handle that. Phil, you come with me. Why? Well, you learn, have to learn how to do it. You're a grandpa now. <laughs> And you say I'm evil. Uh, how can you do this to Nash's parents? That's not their grandchild, and you know it. This is the perfect place to hide out. You can't stay here forever, Bess. All I need is a day or two to figure out a plan. Now go. Jessica? Who are you talking to? Truck's downstairs. You all set? Just, uh, sign here. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> actually, um, I'm, I've changed my mind. I won't be needing you guys anymore. <laughs> I'm staying. Wait, uh, uh... Oh, I, I was talking to myself, willing these bags underneath my eyes to go away. Oh, she's tired, Phil. New mother, driving all that way. <laughs> Why don't I look after the baby and you can get some rest? Oh, you, aren't you just the sweetest thing? Oh, Phil, would you show Jessica where the guest room is? Yeah, sure. Um, actually, it's time for Chloe's nap, and she might get fussy without me, so. Oh, all right. Well, you know best, dear. We're just so happy to have the two of you here with us for a while. Well, they're here. The band just pulled up. I can't believe they agreed so quickly. Well, we got a lot of friends in this state, and you know, your daughter's in trouble and they want to help you. You made this happen, Charlie. You're my girl. God, I hope it works. Look, John, I realize that you're not a cop anymore, but I mean, if anyone can help us, I know that you can. I know you can help us find hope. I'm sorry I know what happened. You do? You guys better sit down. Oh, thank God. Star's been asking all kinds of questions. I didn't know what to do. Dad? Hey. What's going on? What, did something happen with Jessica and her baby? No, no, I just came from Vicky's. There's no news about that. Okay, well, then why are you acting so weird? What are you guys doing here? I mean, do you know what this is about? My mom says she would explain when we got here. It's about the funeral home, isn't it? You guys found Hope's body. Is that what this is all about? Here you go. What? Thank you. What? It's going to be great. I'm oh. telling you, you're going to love it. We can get a foosball table, put it in that corner over there. 52-inch flat screen. Nice. Oh, and two uh, leather couches with a fridge in the middle. So you don't have to walk all the way to the kitchen and get beer. It's going to be awesome. What? Okay, right. So my name is on the lease. So all lifestyle decisions have to get run past me first. Right. But I get to decide where we hang the art. Okay. Lifestyle decision or rule number one. Okay. Absolute honesty. Works for me. So, do you really like this painting, or were you just playing me? Is it a technically correct piece of art? Uh, no. Do I like it? I love it. And I would never play you. You're my friend. Okay. Well, welcome home. Thanks. Are you all set, Mrs. Davidson? Yes, thank you. All right, in five, four, oh. three, two. Hello. 
I'm Victoria Davidson. Jessica Brennan is my daughter. It's okay, baby. We're safe. No one will ever think to look for us here. Not Jessica's boyfriend, not her father, and especially not her hovering mother. This is a photograph of Jessica and her daughter, Chloe. What if the? anyone has seen them or has any information whatsoever about them, please, please would you call the toll-free number that's, that's on your screen now. If you know what happened to Hope, then I want you to tell us. It's a long, complicated story, but I'll cut to the chase. Yeah, let's all sit down. No, it, it's, it's okay. If you found Hope's body, that just means we're that much closer to figuring out why she died. Um, something real unexpected has happened. What do you mean? The reason Hope wasn't in that grave is because she's still alive. She didn't die. Your little girl, your baby girl, 